This entire video was recorded while using NVIDIA GeForce Now. So I've been playing some Cyberpunk on NVIDIA GeForce Now, which we'll talk about in a minute. Uh, but I discovered something right at the start of the game when I was making my character, and it's a great boost to your overall damage. Now, if you've already started playing, you don't have to go back and make a new character. It's not that big of a deal, but if you are interested in kind of min-maxing some damage and giving yourself a boost long-term, I want to show you something in the character creation screen. All right, boys, this is an RPG game. Don't quit your game and restart because I suggested you put a couple points somewhere that you didn't. If you're really interested in the cyberpunk, you know, hacking and stuff, intellect, technical ability is awesome. But for me, I like to run and gun. I like to be stealthy. I like those big hits of damage. That's the content that I like. And so, you know, you can go into body if you plan on meleeing a bunch. Body is a really safe thing to go into. No one's going to regret going and maxing out body because it's giving you more health and stamina. But the ones that I really like is actually reflexes because it's going to give you base evasion and crit chance. Now, crit chance is one of the best stats in any game ever because it just amplifies your damage. Whatever your damage is, if you hit a crit, that is a multiplier on top and it's more valuable than pretty much anything else out there. But this also gives you base evasion, meaning some enemy with a big one-hit attack or a shotgun blast has a chance of missing, has a chance of being evaded, meaning this is a huge boost to damage mitigation. It also seems to increase things like your strafe speed fractionally, and so reflexes are the obvious choice, mostly just for that crit chance and the evasion. And then we've got this bad boy down here, cool. At the very bottom, this one is stacked. Crit damage, 2% per point. We're getting all resistances boosted by 1% per point, which is much better than you think. But honestly, this is the big one. Increases your stealth damage by 10%. That is an insane damage multiplier. Absolutely incredible. Um, I really recommend you go with these. And then if you want some body, cool. You can go with body. That's what I did. If you're more interested in the hacking, I think that the intelligence is also a really good perk. You do it a lot in this game, and so intelligence is a great perk. I went for the full-on, I'm going to fight you, you know, kind of path, but intelligence is great as well. You've got that one extra point. But again, it's not going to matter too, too much. Isn't it wild that you can have the crispest frames using NVIDIA GeForce Now, but you can still be the ugliest character there's ever been? <laughs> now, obviously, if you followed my guide, you'd be at six reflexes, six cool. But I wanted to show you something here. You're going to need to level up to get all of the perks available, but I wanted to show you this because this is like the perfect combo if you want to one-bang pretty much every enemy in the game early on. Uh, when you get Strike from Shadows, this increases your crit chance by 15% while sneaking. You can open up most engagements with a sneak, and then you combo that into this perk right here, Sniper. Increases damage from headshots fired from outside of combat. Well, if you're sneaking, you're going to get that crit chance, and because they haven't detected you, you're not technically in combat. So you're going to get increased crit chance, and then you're going to hit 30% harder with that hit. But then, once you level up a little further, you're going to level up from the shadows. Upon entering combat, Crit chance increases by 25% for 7 seconds. So you sneak into a room, you find an enemy, you hit him in the head and one bang him, and then you've got increased crit chance to melt all the other enemies in the room. It is such a good combination, and this is a really good start for your character. Now, obviously, there's other stuff. Um, you know, you can be leveling up your different weapons and getting different reload speed and all these different things, but I think that that combo is super valuable for the investment of, of your perks. And I would highly recommend you do that as soon as you can. Now, right now, with these base stats, I've got 4% crit rate right at the beginning of the game and 106 crit damage. That might not seem like a lot, but it actually does matter. And with the amount of bullets you're going to be putting in enemies, the amount of times you're going to be meleeing them, you are going to crit more. Fun fact, like the first shot of the game, I crit. So if that's not fate, I don't know what is. But you have to remember that this is then going to stack on your other stats, right? So... It might only seem like, oh, 3% crit rate more than you used to, but you're, you're critting four times the amount that you were. And over the course of a fight, that does turn into a lot of damage, especially when you start getting that crit damage multiplier up. Once you start unlocking some more crit chance in your gear, and when you get the bully mod, you are going to slap enemies. It's not even close. Now, I gotta shout out my boy DPJ. He made Destiny content back in the day, and now he's covering Cyberpunk. And uh, when I saw this, I realized I made the correct choice uh, in my overall stats. 
The bully mod is available relatively early into the game. Uh, it's not like right at the beginning or anything like that, but this gives you a massive 30% crit damage. And so based on your base crit and your crit damage, you're going to be closing in on 50% crit damage right off the hop on top of any other stats from your gear in the game. This mod is pretty much a must have and it's going to make you hit so hard it's not even funny. Now, if you guys want to watch that video, I'm going to have a link for, the, for that in the description uh, to DPJ. But between the base stats and this bully mod, this is such a good base for your character. You guys are going to be slapping enemies, especially when you are hitting a crit and you're stealthed. You're stacking all of these damage numbers. You're going to one bang most enemies early on. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, man, I wish I could jump into cyberpunk, but my computer is trash. I want to explore the world. I want to check out the crafting and the map and all the characters. I want to move around. I want to do quests. Well, guess what? All of this footage is recorded using NVIDIA GeForce Now. I'm jumping. I'm diving. I'm dodging. And my computer is trash. NVIDIA GeForce Now is a cloud gaming service which allows you to play your games from any of your devices, whether it's your phone, laptop, or PC. And even if you think, well, my PC isn't good enough to run a game like Cyberpunk, that's the beauty. As long as you have a solid internet connection, NVIDIA GeForce Now is going to stream the game to your system. So you can play with RTX on, you can play with good FPS, even if your system is kind of a piece of trash. This is one of the coolest services I've ever used. I've used it with Destiny back in the day, and now I'm using it with Cyberpunk. And if you don't believe me, boys, try it out for free. Give it a try. And if it works for you, there are Founders Packs, which allows you to have unlimited time and access to this game. You can jump in, play Cyberpunk, or any of your other Steam games right there. I, I love this. If you're out of town and you're on your phone, if you're out of town and you're on your, your little work laptop that's trash, you can still play Cyberpunk and have a great time doing it. This entire video was recorded while using NVIDIA GeForce Now. I am running around and I am playing using this. I'm jumping, I'm sliding, I'm talking. Now, I don't want to spoil... Stop! I don't want to spoil the story. I know some people are still jumping in, but this system's great. NVIDIA, thank you so much for sponsoring the video, and hopefully I helped boost your damage long-term in Cyberpunk 2077. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed, and I'll see you soon, my friends. Bye-bye.